Let's go ahead and begin building our subtheme. Like with a normal theme, we're going to start out by creating a directory and then creating a .info file in that directory. So first of all, go to your Sites, Themes folder, and then go ahead and close this directory. And let's go ahead and create a new folder called batsub, B-A-T-S-U-B. And then inside of that folder, go ahead and create a new file called batsub.info. Okay, go ahead and open that file. Now jump to your resource pack directory. And inside of that directory, go ahead and open up the 13th step, which is called bat sub info sub theme info file. Now this is just a, a basic info file for a sub theme. Go ahead and copy the entire code and paste it in your current .info file and save it. Okay. So at the top, we have a couple of comments here. See this URL if you want to learn more about subtheme inheritance. So this info file is actually all we need in order to create a functional subtheme, but we had to add a couple items to it in order for it to work properly. And we're going to go through that in just a minute, but if you have any questions over time, you can go ahead and see this page. It's got some good resources there. Okay. So this first part is pretty straightforward. We're calling it build a theme sub theme. We can name it whatever we want. We can have whatever description we want. We're going to set core to 7.x and the engine to PHP template. The difference here is this item here, which is base theme. And this tells our sub theme what its base theme is and what resources it's going to start from. So we're going to build this on the Bartik theme. So we're just specifying Bartik. Now note that this isn't the name of the theme that you see in the theme settings page. This is instead the name of the .info file, and normally that will be the same name as the folder for the theme as well. But if you want to be absolutely sure that you're picking the right name, just look at the .info file and grab the name to the left of the .info and use that as the base theme. Just that will inherit most everything from the theme. But the one thing that's not inherited, as far as the info file goes, is the regions. So all I did was I copied all of the regions from the Bartik info file and pasted them in this info file. So you see we have all of this, these regions that were set in Bartik, but we got to pull them over manually into our sub-theme info file. Okay, go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and jump to the browser. And let's go to the appearance page where we can set our themes. And let's go ahead and enable our subtheme. Now notice that we have a screenshot here that matches the Bartik theme. If we scroll up, you'll see the giant Bartik theme up here. We have our title and our description. And we're just going to click enable and set default. And in order to see this theme in action, we need to go to the home page. So I'm going to go ahead and click the home item in the breadcrumbs. Okay. Now you see we have our content listed here. We have a footer and a header. And it looks nicely themed. This looks almost exactly like Bartik, except that when Bartik is enabled at the beginning, we usually have some blocks that are in the sidebars here. The reason why they're not is because we've been working with other themes before this that took those blocks that were in the sidebars and moved them to the disabled section because those regions didn't exist anymore. So in our previous examples, we didn't have a sidebar first and a sidebar second, so they just got disabled. So that's why we don't have any columns right now. Now I just refreshed the page, and you might notice that the logo has disappeared, and all we see is the alt text here that says home. The reason for this is that the browser had cached the logo for this theme beforehand, and when I refreshed the page, it tried to reload it, and it was gone. In addition to copying the regions information over to the .info file, we also need to copy the logo file over. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm going to jump back to the Drupal directory and I'm going to open up the Bartik theme right here under themes Bartik and I'm going to copy the logo file and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the bat sub theme right here under sites all modules themes bat sub Now I'm going to go back to the browser and I'm going to refresh the page and you'll see we now have our logo. Besides these two items, the regions and the logo, everything else gets inherited. And in the next videos what we're going to do is look at overriding some of that inheritance because sometimes we don't want everything that the base theme has to offer. We want to eliminate some or adjust them and we'll look at how to do that with CSS files and JavaScript files.